Mookie. Yo. And we back <laughs> with another reaction video. Mookie. Yo. We got I investigated the murder capital of the world. The world. Now I think this guy right here, y'all, is named Tyler. Mm -hmm. Mookie, this is the guy that did the uh the video we did on the racist. Racist man in America. Yeah, yes. racist man in America. My man went to the murder capital. Now, as it looked like well, places, baby. You feel me? <laughs> from this, bro, where do you think this man is at? Just from this image. No. He got it's on somewhere it. warm though, cause he got on shorts. But he, and he also got a New York hat. Look, if y'all new to the channel, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Yes, sir. Let's see what your boy Tyler talk about. Mookie, let's get into it, yeah. This is Jamaica, the murder Jamaica. capital of the world. Yeah, baby. Jamaica, baby. World. That's a big old knife. Have you ever had to use on anyone? Mm. No. It's <laughs> gonna take him. To oh. Okay, got it. The country is at a level three, just below the do not travel alert. The wow. State Department says Jamaica's homicide rate is one of the highest. Why everybody want to go to Jamaica? Because it's the Caribbean, bro. Right, so it's it got to be like a, a nice part there. A real... Yeah, it's a nice part, probably the resorts and stuff like that. But you got to remember, it's a city inside a city, bro. When I went to Puerto Rico, you know, um, I was staying at a very nice part. Right. It wasn't until I started driving in Puerto Rico mm -hmm. that I seen some of the ghettos and stuff like that. You know? I heard, bro, in Jamaica, and correct me if I'm wrong, because we do got some Jamaican subscribers. Yes, uh, sir. Mookie, you, when you get a resort in Jamaica, you just stay in a resort. You go outside a resort, that's yeah, when they I get mean, back. The resort got everything, the swimming pool, the mm. this, the that, you know what I'm but saying? You but you want to travel. Some people be wanting to leave, yeah. and, you know, and go sightseeing and things like that. But they say that's not that side that's that's not good. good, bro. Yeah. You on the menu. <laughs> you on the menu. In the Western Hemisphere. Those boys on the road is... Yeah, there is fish. He's not a fish. You're a shark. Yeah, yeah. Are you a killer? Yeah, we rock you. Jamaica it. consistently ranks number one or number two in murders per capita year wow. over year. But why are people killing each other so often? I met up with local YouTuber Jamaica Walkby to go to Trenchtown, a neighborhood famous for being the home of reggae legends like Bob Marley and for being a... That's real popular <coughs> right now, too. I'm sorry for uh, stopping the video. Mm -hmm. That's real popular. It's local YouTubers or people in the U.S. YouTubers. Mm -hmm. It's linking up with overseas Absolutely, YouTubers, bro. bro. Ain't nothing like building good relationships. Nah, bro. that's a fact. And that's dope, bro. I ain't yeah. gonna lie. I like that. Extremely dangerous. Question for you. We notice a lot of um, flags on the walls. Is there, like, political friction out here? Yes. Yeah? yeah. Things get crazy out here sometimes? Yeah. It's the crime and violence. Sometimes we just need that for stop. Just the crime and violence. Okay, just that. Hmm. So people get killed? Yeah, but it's happening everywhere, right? Is it dangerous out here? Well, nowhere is safe, to be honest. Right. Yeah, it should get dangerous at times. Do people shoot each other? Yeah. Would you believe me if I said Jamaica is the murder capital of the world? Yes. Yeah? What do you mean by nowhere is safe? Like, everywhere there is violence. Even overseas as well. Would you believe me if I said Jamaica was number one or number two murder capital of the world? No. Does it get dangerous out here at night? Sometimes. Gangs? Yeah, call it that. People get killed out here? Yeah, man, all the while. Yeah? Why is that? That people love party. What's your least favorite part about Jamaica? Ah, uh, crime. What types of crime? Crime. Enos crime. 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 Murder. And then I saw this dude rolling up a spliff who claimed to know everyone out here. Hey mm. there. What have you been up to today? Rolling up a spliff? Yeah, you know. I'm over the farm. The farm? The farm, the farm, that is a farm. Right over there. Yeah, we can go over there, come. Well, my guy yeah, was come. nowhere in sight. I first thought I was setting myself up to get robbed, <laughs> but it turns out this guy was giving me a full tour of the community. Uh, bro, did you almost spill that Red Bull, bro? Yo, I'm tripping. You hear me? My man said I thought I was setting myself up to get robbed. Yeah. <laughs> Goofy. That's why I almost I almost spit the drink out, bro. Yeah. Nah, yo, you should be all right, family. <laughs> Community with unexpected hospitality. All right, we're visiting the garden right now. Pray make sure the mic's still on, yo. <coughs> yo, yeah, we good. Little baby young mango. Is this where you make the juice? Yes. Thank you, thank you. That's some nice juice right there. You could come to the farm, chill out, 
have a good time. Maybe we don't want to sleep on the road. You got a cowboy, so but you could sleep. Wow. Set a tent. So even I can come in here and say, hey, I got nowhere to stay. You stay. Respect. Ganja, whoa. Oh. I'll I'll let let we. We got the know what that is. Thanks. While this community was seemingly fully self-sufficient, I wanted to hear about the reality of some of the problems they actually faced. What have you seen out here? What have we seen? Let's hear it. Oh, leave the issue on the tissue. <laughs> Flush it in the toilet. I war them a deal with say me can't take that. War them a deal with say me can't take that. Hey, yeah. gunshot a beat man a forget dung flat. The baby pon the bed say them no response for that. The baby <laughs> send them come back at those right hand spot. After yeah. hearing her musical plea to end violence, the village doctor pulled up to sell me a magical concoction to give me boners. Yeah. Stiff wood, no yeah. conscience. Yeah. <laughs> Is this to get boners? Yeah. Whoa! So you drink this, you get a boner? Yeah. I have to buy the juice. Oh, no, it's a sex. Yeah, it's sex just... How you feel about that? They got they got stuff like that everywhere. <laughs> like, bro, it's, it's so much good stuff. I feel like this stuff is really real and it's natural too. Yeah. The thing about even even looking at this video, bro. The thing about overseas, bro, you just right. can't tell how they do stuff like from the ground up. You yeah. see the chickens and yeah. the, the 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 natural, the garden, the farm. Like right, right, they right, do right. everything so natural. So when they sell you this type of stuff, it's not going through no CVS or Rite Aid where it's been produced down yeah, and stuff yeah, like that. Man. Nah, this None stuff that. that these people make, bro. Absolutely. And it actually working. It's probably good for you, yeah, bro. Yeah. So I'm saying, what's up with you? You, you yeah. want a couple of bottles? Nah, no, nah, no. Nah, I'm good, baby. <laughs> <laughs> they say they nah, got nah, I might need one. Yeah, like like I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna keep it real. Yo, I'll take a sip. <laughs> You'll take a sip. I'll sure. take a sip. Oh, and of course, of course. <coughs> Make your wood get well off. Make your wood get well off. Question, question. Why do you think overseas is so open about sexuality? I mean, like, sex is natural, it bro. It is, bro. Oh but it's supposed to be undercover a little... I oh, mean, it ain't? Why? No, it's supposed to be undercover in America. Yeah. But it, over there, it's just, like, so freely and open. Man, please, because people really live in their life over yeah, there. Yeah, that's what... Yeah. Somebody come here in Baltimore, you and you're a tourist, you're not going to catch nobody downtown selling you no... uh. Oh, they got some stuff out like that. But they, this, you see, why is this the second thing that this dude is getting as a gift? Mm -hmm. In Baltimore, they not going to sell you that. It's going, you got to go looking for that if you want that. You okay. feel me? Yeah. You think so? Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> stop playing games. Nah, like you, you can go down the hall and be like, you, you see a random dude, huh, man? That's a. Uh, a, ju a sex juice is gonna get you right. I'll be like, cool, cool. I'm gonna give it to my No, nah, you gonna catch you gonna catch <laughs> somebody down there. Loud, 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 yeah. loud, loud. <laughs> you feel me? No, you can't do it. <laughs> We've talked to a lot of the yeah, locals. Right. We met this entire self-sufficient community. Great to get You try to crack Nick Bob. Nice. How you doing? <laughs> you smoking a spliff? Most wanted. I the Dancing, we're role playing. What is your name? Raven. Raven, I like that name. You ever seen uh, Teen Titans Go? <laughs> After hearing about the violence this community faced, Jamaica Walk By took me to a production studio to see what Trenchtown is also famous for musical talent. We got Brinks music. Let's check it out. We are in a production studio in Jamaica. How are you doing? I'm good. The insulated, acoustically optimized sound booth in here. It's moments like these when I realize people are mostly the same all across the world and are generally all pursuing ways of increasing their quality of life, surviving, Whoa. and coping through trauma and various hardships. Right. Everything was done inside this. Do you charge for studio time too when people 
Sugarman? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's smart. <laughs> you can find us on YouTube, Instagram, anything, Spotify, just type in Ingenious Brings. Yeah. Wow, so much talent out here. After hearing about the good, bad, and ugly of Trenchtown, I headed to Spanish Town. Sections of Spanish Town in St. Catherine remain wow. tense after gunmen went on a deadly shooting rampage in the market district. Three mm. persons, two of whom are said to be affiliated with gangs in the parish, were killed. A city with a reputation as perhaps the most dangerous city in Jamaica, wow. and often considered a no-go zone to outsiders. So mm. we decided to go there to see how it earns Leave for the pleasures, they say. Knock your head off, run. Yo, dog, to my shady, yeah. What is wrong with you? And the way, the way how yo looking at him, he already looking at him like he just told you it's confidential, bro. Ease up. Main man is looking what at him. What do you him. mean? Yeah. What do you mean? Like, bro, look, he, man. Hold on, yo. He looking at him like he don't even really belong here. Yeah, he don't belong here. Yeah, bro. So just ask your question. You got to catch the vibe, family, and yeah. keep it pushing. Yeah. You feel me? You ask somebody else. Time bomb. Time bomb? Yep. What does that mean? Like, you never know when it's going to go up. Have you heard gunshots out here? <laughs> yeah. You think we'll die today? No, not today. Not today? Not today. Today's a good day. That's what you're talking about. Keep on. There's bullet holes on that thing. But we saw a beryllium truck. That's the equivalent of one of the trucks in the U.S. that carries the cash, yeah. which means that someone's probably planning to steal from it right now. All right. I hear this place is dangerous. Is that true or no? Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. No? Sometimes. Sometimes? Sometimes. Sometimes. Who's doing the craziness out here? <laughs> People with the guns. Come on in. That's just like... This is where the products are made. Hit the bro. Feel safe out here? Nah, what's up, bro? No. Nah. That's just like our neighborhood, bro. Yeah. It ain't rough all... It's known for being rough, mm. but it's not like that all the time. You see what I'm saying? And I'm gonna be honest with you, yo. I, one thing... I understand people going to these neighborhoods, right? Right, right. I get it. I understand and you trying to find like information, but... People, even the murderers and killers in that in those neighborhoods, uh -huh. they not stupid, bro. They not ready to just go to your camera. Hey, yo, what you doing around here? Yeah, Boom. Crazy, they not. They, they 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 bro. This, <laughs> bro. I'm just saying it's it's a game plan of how people do things. Yeah, exactly. it's one of the most dangerous neighborhoods, but. It's dangerous people going at the dangerous people. Exactly. You feel me? They just not it's, ready. It's, it's a just high key to it. Like, bro, a lot of times civilians don't get hit, bro. Like, right. Because a lot of these guys look at them like they're civilians. These are innocent bystanders. You feel what I'm saying? They're not intentionally trying to yeah, kill Yeah, and everybody. only way they get hit and only way something could happen if you're in a dangerous neighborhood, number mm -hmm. one, if you're provoking people. Right. Number two is if it's just beef. And you just get hit in a crossfire, somebody do a drive-by or something. Yeah. But it's not like somebody just about to come up here and just kill somebody because they recording somebody on camera mm -hmm. or something like that. Right. You feel me, yeah. yo? Yeah. So, yeah. I feel like when people try to come out there to neighborhoods and try to figure things out, bro, mm -hmm. just go in there, ask some, some questions, some heartfelt questions. like. Right. With some things in this in this community that you think that could change, that could change. Fact. You feel me? Yeah. Not yo with the gunshots or do <laughs> people get killed or yeah, yeah. you read the, the Jeffy. Yes, yeah. it said Myrtle Capital. Yeah, and you decided to still go. <laughs> you feel me? So your goal should be get in. You seem like he ain't gonna be happy if somebody robbed him. <laughs> <laughs> What are your thoughts on the police? I mean, you see, you see, you see, Jamaica situation, right? Um, come about from the independence movement from Britain. Jamaica gained independence 1962 from Britain. But with that, it, it, it came with a, a lot of um, difficulties because of the constitution. But my parents, they didn't have the, the choice to make um, their decision what type of constitution they wanted, right? The constitution did not have much in it to to support the, the development of the Jamaican people. And so, you know, I can't tell you much, but I can say, for example, they gave the, the, the constitution, the prime minister, too much power. In that sense, we can't have a democratic um, Jamaica. All right. Thank you for confirming the dangerous reputation out here. Others were hesitant to acknowledge its reality. Right. Hi there, I'm <laughs> White. How do you like Spanish Town? Spanish Town, good man. Do you think tourists are afraid to come here to Spanish Town? No, 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 not anymore. Spanish Town, not time? bad. Yeah, all the while, Mr. Dem. It's the last time you've heard a gunshot. Long time in a year, no gunshot. Okay. Do you think you guys are the murder capital of the world? No, 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 no. Do you think that's a lie? No. Die. Die. They are all right. right. No. There's nothing going on, no. 
but Spanish Town is known for violence. You understand? But we can't continue to judge the past right. with the present mm -hmm. every time. Here in Spanish Town, we are hustling for our money. Not like in America where you have a million homeless people sleeping in the street. Mm. I haven't other seen day. anyone pass out on drugs out here. America, they're everywhere. People just on drugs <laughs> yeah. on the strets. Yeah. Why, why is there none of that here? We don't, we don't tolerate drugs here. Oh, that's dope. In America, you pay people to get high. You uh. pay people to stay on, on um, drugs that say, oh, they are depressed. And you pay them to stay depressed. What do you dislike uh -huh. about Jamaica? Dislike? What is there to dislike? Yeah. <laughs> right, well, it constantly goes between number one to number two as the murder capital of the world. Man for dead, you make man live, brother. <laughs> man for dead, you make man live. What you say? What, what you say? Man for dead, you make man live. That's, this, that's your, your struggle. That's your struggle. What you think? Why are people murdering each other? The only thing you see the murder here in Jamaica is because it's per capita. Mm. In America, you guys kill more people than what we kill here in Jamaica. Don't mm. ask about the murder rate. You know the murder rate in, in America. And when black people died in America, you guys do not step up to the plate for us. Well, that's not uh, true. Uh, it is true. There was a whole riot in the United no, States across it, every major city when no, George Floyd died. When Mama spitting. Yeah, boy. Well, I'm a spitting. Giving him what he need right now. And when you, bro, when you in a, um, when you in a situation like that, and it start to get a little bit more political, I don't know, bro. I think you, you, you rough, you ruffle some feathers on that one, bro. Yeah. Uh. When we die there, nobody speak on us. I disagree. We have to be honest here. We're talking per capita versus just overall. The United States has over a hundred times more people. Uh -huh. Per capita, people are killing each other more often here. No. That's true though. No. That's facts. No. That's statistics. No. You hear what you come up with? Joyce Floyd. What about the guys that they're finding in the gutter? What about the 100 women that they find in Queens behind the building? This is a conversation over now in a pop on the door. Thanks for chatting. That actually is a great point though. We've seen very little hard drugs out here, if any at all. Yeah. The murder stats here speak for themselves. Sometimes it's kind of hard to wonder if the facts are true, you know what I mean? Because some people, sometimes you wonder if people just come up with the numbers. No, I just true. put it out there. And as we walked through an alley, we stumbled upon a group of houses that had recently burned down. Damn. You guys at home? Yeah, and roughly. When did this fire happen? Last week, last week Wednesday. What is the plan to get a new home? We've been working with the government, but the government's going to do. Was it a power line that hit? No. A little and sound man was cooking right there, sir. Oh. Hey. If anyone wants to donate, you guys will take anything? Anything at all. We don't, we don't anything. We're just grateful for what you can give us. If anyone reaches out and has something to offer, you'll yes, hit yes. them back up? 876 879 Five zero four six. That's your phone number? Yes, that's my phone number. Well, I hope for the best here. Thank you so much. As night approached, we made our way out of Spanish Town and through Coronation Market. The killing was right here. Oh, wow. What was that? Right here. Mm. Trust me, it's been a while I haven't seen that happen down here, okay. to be honest with you. But I remember stories my grandmother used to tell me, especially one, I remember one time she came home and all of the stuff was bloody. And all, I was like, man, what happened? You all right? It's not her blood. They killed a guy right next to her and the guy mm -hmm. fell in her oh. goods. Bro. Wow. Hold on, yo. Where mama's at, yo? I'm sorry, yo. If anyone reaches out and has something to offer, you'll yes. hit My them phone back up. Die, 876. Yo. Take that number down. Huh? Take the number down. Eight seven six, eight seven nine, five zero four six. Five zero four six. Just hey, just put Jamaica. Yeah. Jamaica. I'm not spelling this one. Mm. You got it. Yeah, I got it. Huh. Right. We got like cash out or something. Yeah. At me down here, okay. to be honest with you. But I remember stories my grandmother used to tell me. Especially one, I remember one time she came home and all of the stuff was bloody. And all, I was like, man, what happened? You all right? And she said, it's not her blood. They killed a guy right next to her and the guy fell in her, in oh, her goods. Jeez. Do you think Jamaica's gonna get safer? 
We can only open. As the darkness cloaked our surroundings, mm. we headed to the back road to see if we uh -oh. could find an interview local prostitutes we're trying to talk to a working girl to see how dangerous it is to work these streets at night it's nine o'clock when you see them you'll know them they're gonna be in a revealing dress and stuff like that are they gonna be calling and like nice boy <laughs> white boy what? Ah. <laughs> think it's dangerous to be a prostitute out here well to be honest with you yeah that cannot be safe we had made it there were working girls waving us down at every corner damn there there are a lot of prostitutes out here this is one of the hotels where the ladies get brought to to have sex with the customers, the Johns. Ooh. It is called the Pirate Ship Seafood Restaurant. I guess that's just a front or seafood restaurant by day, prostitute brothel hotel at night. A little bit inconspicuous at first glance, but in actuality, people are getting banged in there for 15 US dollars. And we eventually <laughs> found a Lord have mercy. Bro, he exposed his stuff. 15 bucks. Mm. He exposed his stuff, bro. Mm hmm prostitute willing to be interviewed if we blurred her face and paid her the same amount she would make for a few hours of her services. Where are we at right now? Back road. So we're literally in a back road. And are you working as a prostitute tonight? Yes. How long have you been doing that? Long time, about well, two months. Uh, two, two months? Weeks. Yeah. And how old are you? 27. 27? Is it dangerous working out here at night? Because sometimes I want to go home. I want some money for go home and so so I'm just come out here to look some money for buy some grocery to eat and wow. feed my kids. Mm. Do you feel like your life's ever at risk working the streets? No. No? You feel pretty protected and safe out here? Yeah. Do you like working the streets? No. Is there anything people misunderstand about prostitutes out here? Yeah. Well, mm. You think that was a legitimate question to ask? Do you like working the streets? <laughs> It's a real question, though. Yeah. It's a, it's a real question. Yeah. I probably people understand about prostitute, bitch, or... Oh, you have a lot of people use those names? Yeah, people use those names. She's saying that, remember that when time persons call them dirty words like those, they have to remember that she's a person and she's I somebody see. else's daughter. Have any of your co-workers ever been murdered? One girl, oh. one man get killed. That is about two months ago. How much longer do you think you'll keep doing this? Short time till we get some cash. Cash. Yeah. When do you mm. go home at night typically? I believe we are by 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. Why so soon though? Round here, son of feel safe for me. What happens at 2, 3, 4? Prostitute two, then get robbed round here. Have you ever been robbed? I get robbed already. They <laughs> robbed my phone and my money right at the hotel up there. So you got robbed up there? About three months ago. Well, thanks so much for your time. Be safe, okay? Look there, she's getting the next business right. She's on it, she's on her grind. And then someone just pulled in. She's about to get to work. And do you think Jamaica's pretty safe? No. No. No, it is. But there are certain times and there are certain things that you should never get yourself mixed up with. Mm. Don't be with the wrong crowd at the wrong time. We're hearing mixed results of kind of dangerous sometimes, sometimes it's not. Seems like for the most part, these ladies are trying to make some coin. Seems like you might just get unlucky sometimes and someone robs you, assaults you, kidnaps you. She also grabbed my, my dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was it? She just walked away and bam! And like, oh, oh, was it? You, no. You, you liked it. No, I didn't. <laughs> no, I liked it. One of the girls come and shake my hand and said, I thank you so much for this because it's a few minutes and I made her night. Here so. we go. And honestly, it seems a little bit more chill out here than usual. I thought we'd be accosted by a pimp by now. It seems that like most of these girls are freelance. Freelancers. Freelance. Yeah, they're yeah. doing their own thing. We have more sex motels right there, 24-7 plus cable TV, $15 experience. You told me being gay is illegal here? Yeah, man to man in Jamaica, it's illegal. Okay. So if you're caught having sex with another guy, you can get jail, jail time. Mm. But we do have a lot of gay men here, just like anywhere else. Being gay in Jamaica is illegal if you're caught in the app. Yeah, but people do catch people they in the app. Caught. Yeah. So we headed downtown to interview Ugh. some transgender prostitutes oh, to learn about their experience being LGBTQ plus in a country Sheesh. where it's illegal to change your gender or to be caught being mm. gay. Are you working the streets right now? Yes, I'm in the streets. And you're a uh, transgender? Yes, I'm a transgender. How long have you been transgender? About seven years now. Yes, I'm from 12 years old. And how old are you? 19. I've heard it's illegal to be gay out here, is that true? Yes, it's very illegal to be gay. Sometimes them fight in a community, you can't go back home, go live. But sometimes I go home, come home to the community, go look for my family and so. But you know me, I have to be in the streets <laughs> because them act Bro, you know what they uh call gay dudes that uh, just make it in like Trinidad? What? I heard they call them a mama man. A mama man? A mama man. 
<laughs> he said, look at that. My man, Barry. Look at that thing, boy. He's a mama man. <laughs> That's crazy. Accept my, my homosexual lifestyle. And um, how is it working the streets out here? Sometimes it's pretty easy. Sometimes it's very rough. You have nights when we catch one look at dollar. You have nights when we we'll catch nothing on at all. You have to fight it. Mask it up, bite up under the gully. Rat run, come and kiss you and the things. And say, I have a 50 50 chance. Is mm. it dangerous working out here? Very dangerous. Do you think you'll walk away from this type of work at some point? Yeah, hopefully one day. So you have real breasts and a real penis? Yes, I have real penis. I see. The police catch <laughs> he you. He said, there. I see. You go to jail. <laughs> we run your home and there. Some of them we lock you up. Some we send your home and tell you don't make them stay back. Some we lock you up. Some we pepper spray. Some we beat you. So you have them work out for them mood and oh, stuff. Our life is our life. We live our life to do it. Or I, we want to live our lives and we should be free and walk and pre people not bashing us. All right, I'm here with? Kim, Kim. What are, what are your pronouns? I'm a she. How long have you been a she? About 15 years. 15 years? It's really risky out there. Police abuse with men abuse with all type of people abuse it. It's very dangerous? It's very dangerous out there. How old are you? I'm 35. Mm. 35? Do you think Jamaica is accepting of who you are? It's really risky same here, but cause I say the other day them killed one trans woman. Did you know that person? Yeah. yeah. That's fine. They were homosexual and them killed them in other house. They killed them in their house yeah. for having sick gay sex? Yeah, I'm They burned, burned them? Yeah, we burned them. It's very, very risky being out there and being a trans. Wow. Do you think Jamaica is a safe country? No. Not safe for our lives. Not for our lives. Otherwise. Would you believe me if I said it's the murder capital? of the world I think so is it risky out here to get diseases like hiv and that sort of thing yes it's a high risk mm. high risk no mm. it's not a high risk no we have okay. organization out here who come out here and help us and give us condom and give us safety safe to things. So even when we see people driving past us pretty aggressively, are you scared they might hit you or try to shoot? Or? We don't know what they're up to. Even when we drove up, were you skeptical of like what are these guys up to? And I was actually pretty scared though because I thought you were Oh, right over there. Yeah. Well, you guys are all very sweet. I hope you guys stay safe. And as they started to spontaneously show off their bodies to the camera, out of nowhere, oh, two armed muggers a... came over to rob me and my cameraman and barely spared us only after recognizing Jamaica walk by as he yelled, Bumbleclat in the distance. <laughs> they told us to turn the cameras off, and instead of robbing us, they agreed to be interviewed if we brought them some cash. So we're interviewing transgender prostitutes. He's a Bumbleclat. <laughs> I saw a car no, pass. I see you car right made a U turn. So I was like, all right, let me let me just park the freaking van. You know what I mean? When I realized the guys come out of the van, come out of the, the car, and comes up, up and swing around. And I said, oh sh That's the first time what? a YouTuber brought another YouTuber to the hood and he wasn't good. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. They like, Yo, who, I don't care who they is, let's go get them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's crazy. We realized that we're not trouble no. And within that time, these two guys came over with a knife and a taser to come rob and kill us. Or kidnap. Them, them are come, or kidnap. Them. Uh, like, what are you doing? What's going on here? And then I realized that you were trying to explain that they were going to rob and kill us. Yeah. And now they're all happy, go lucky, and interview us and tell us about them being gangbangers. Just like that. Man, I I'm nervous, bro. Bumblecut. We're basically being extorted <laughs> right now in real times where we have to get some cash or we run the risk of Fabian getting murdered and killed on the streets one day for conning them. So we have to get some cash right now because we spent all of our money interviewing prostitutes, not because we pre-arranged this, but because they were going to mug us. Cha-choo! Don't hate the player, hate the game. Let's go get robbed. Bumble clap. Bumble clap. Okay, so I'm here with, who are you, sir? Mr. AK-47. <laughs> Mr. AK-47. Mr. AK-47, we're interviewing the transgender prostitutes. You are going to mug me? Yeah. Yeah? Did I look like easy pickings? Not really. Okay. Do you think I would have ran? No. Wow. Well, um, what would you have done to me if we didn't, you know? We'll just rob you and take away your stuff and let you go. Okay, I appreciate that. Can I see <laughs> what you would have robbed me with? Oh, whoa. So that's a big old knife. Have you ever had to use it on anyone? Mm, no. So would you have walked up and said like, Give me everything. Give me everything. Give me everything. So I'm like, I'm talking to the ladies. How would you have done it? I'm just gonna take them. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then you would have left me there. And go about my business. Okay, so you wouldn't have stabbed me. No, I wouldn't stab you. Okay, you're a member of a local gang? <laughs> yeah. Do you pimp out the gays? Yeah, they have to give them money. When they work, they have to give them money. How often do you find guys like us for easy pickings and you want to mug them? The, the first time. 
We were the first? Yeah. So you saw us, you're like, all right, two white, white guys. Yeah. They don't look that fast. Yeah, I <laughs> <laughs> Here's what I would have done. I would have done like a little. <laughs> you think you could have caught up to me? <laughs> okay, you actually would have killed me, yeah? Did you grow up in a rough neighborhood out here? Yeah, grew up in two by the guard. How much do you make per night? Sometimes a hundred grand. Holy smoke. Is that a good day or a bad day? Well, today look like it's a good day. <laughs> Your guys are here. <laughs> But you're gonna let us go tonight, right? Yeah. W was there any circumstance where you'd kidnap us? No, I would kidnap you. We're not kidnappable. No, we're not kidnapping. If I was a sexy, blonde haired, blue eyed girl, what would you do to me? Kidnap you. <laughs> <laughs> How much could that go for in the market? It might be 100,000. 100,000? So it'd be like, hey, we kidnapped your daughter. How much can we get? 100,000. <laughs> That's 100,000 US. Yeah. So how would that process go? Like, you call the parents, and be like, hey, yeah, we kidnapped your daughter. We're gonna kill her unless you give us this amount of money. And then if they didn't respond within like a day or two, would you like cut off a finger? The money will come. The money, money will come. Will come. You ever had to do that? I think about it. Thank you so much for your time, sir. Bumble clap. Bumble rasta. Pussy clap. Bumble. Pussy clap. <laughs> and we're, here we have another young man. How you doing? Okay, bro. Thank you for not mugging me. Yeah. <laughs> here yeah. My name is Thomas. Thomas. Yeah. How do you like Jamaica? Yeah, yeah. You love it? What's uh, what's your biggest money-making scheme out here? You do any contract killings? Yeah. Is that pretty dirty work? Yeah, yeah. Is it pretty, like, violent? Yeah, yeah. You risk your life out there? Still got it, man. Okay. Those boys on the road, is, they is fish. He's not a fish. You're a shark? Yeah, yeah. Are you a killer? Yeah, we rob people. Okay, what's the biggest thing you've stolen from someone? Like, what's the biggest like, robbery? Like a phone. Goodbye, thank you. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, I was like, thank you, brother. Bumble clad. You gotta be smart. Where are you gonna walk at night? We were not smart just then. You look at swoops right now. Yeah, I was because when I saw that the guy was actually coming over to you guys, some, some stupid guy would probably drive off. I didn't, I had to. Thank you for protecting. Okay. Thanks for saving us. <laughs> Blessings, man. After narrowly getting mugged and kidnapped, we made our way to Tivoli Gardens, the birthplace of the contract wow. killer we met last night, and arguably the most dangerous place in Jamaica. Apparently this community got ransacked basically after the US came in here to get coke and extradited him to the US. He was that villainous of a character, apparently. But his sons are plugged today. Would you like to tell us how it is out here in Jamaica? A nice job, a nice Good. country. Safe? Safe. Okay. I'm fine. I'm a born Jamaica. Okay, that's pretty And I sweet. love my country. Yeah. Respect. Respect you. Respect. The reason I put lead generation on a license plate of the Lamborghini, because it's still today, since 2019. I'm a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you got some people out there that just really love their country, bro. Yeah. I love America. You yeah, know you I'm feel saying? me? Like, no matter what happened, they just see the positive things that goes around. Yeah. yeah, you feel me? That's dope. Huh? I'm a, I'm a nigga. <laughs> what do you mean? We nigga. We look at we nigga. <laughs> what do you mean? We look at we the nigga. We say, okay, you white nigga. <laughs> what was he trying to tell me? He said he's a bleeper? Yeah, I don't even want to get it. <laughs> <laughs> this place back in the days used to be very tense. The police force and the community was at war. It was no joke. I'm not the one who have to tell you, but it's on the news. The news don't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that one kind of sound weird. That sounded like a gunshot. Yeah, that kind of sound like a gunshot. And it probably was. Probably was. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we are not welcome oh, to the I can't even see you, bro. So we got beef. No, 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 say that. So we're immediately met with a little bit of hostility. They don't like the yeah, camera. That's what I'm telling you. You have some people with, with like the camera, some won't. People don't show up here, especially that aren't from here, right? Yeah, as you can see, we stepped in a while ago and that guy was hesitant and started ball about the camera mm. and a bunch of things. For God reasons, I don't know. If you look online, Tivoli Gardens, it's unlikely you'll see many locals visiting the area. According to Fabian, we have some protective cloak on us because we're white right now. I'm not sure if that's real. While the community was now covered with colorful murals, only 14 years ago, it was covered with bullet holes and blood. Mm. How you doing? My name's Tyler. We're glad to be here. Yeah, we wanted to learn about Tivoli. So, yeah, who am I here with? I'm here with Rascoco, yeah? 
Coco, and you have a pretty uh, legendary father as well? Yeah, as, as in family. I don't know, in the past, the old man was more politically and community oriented, you know? Okay. This community has a lot of rich, rich history, you know? And, you know, in 2010, the community went through an incursion where a lot of persons lost their lives, and it's really a dark time, you know? And so this is you guys trying to move beyond what yeah. what passed? Passed like that. Those are bullet holes? Yeah. That was the time I'm telling you about. A lot of persons were lost loved ones. Over 70 odd people died, you know? Mm, yeah. As I said, that is a part of the history where it's dark. Traumatic, man. So, mm. you know, when you come with the art for the community, it's actually to give the youths them, especially a different outlook. Why do you think so many people in Jamaica are killing each other? Ah, uh, mindset. Most people will say circumstances. Yeah, man. The island is not most mostly negative. Right. I think they them as medias and persons who showcasing things just need to put forward the brightness that the, uh, the island is offering, you know? Just right. for context, Coco is the nephew of the infamous drug lord and gangster Christopher Coke, who was the leader of the Shower Posse drug cartel. The U.S. requested that he be extradited, and on May 24, 2010, Jamaica sent in 800 soldiers and 370 police officers to restore state authority and to arrest Christopher Coke, ultimately leading to the often disputed number of 73 civilians being killed. This mm. bloodbath is simply referred to as the incursion. However, Coco here wants to push Tivoli towards a brighter and less violent future. You got a trampoline, this is badass. But we're planning to do the entire community like this. Like I said, back in 2010, it was a horrible time, you know? So we want to create new meaning and we want to create new thinking, as I said, the mindset. So we dope. have 100 artists coming from all over the world because we're going to try to transform the city once and for all, you know? The vibe seemed peaceful, but I was also aware that I was being given a sort of red carpet-like treatment since I have a large YouTube channel, and I felt like I was given a North Korean-like tour and was being used to perpetuate inaccurate propaganda that this place was somehow super safe. But to be fair, most people I talked to seemed to be happy living here, despite right. many vaguely referring to it as violent. So we just uh, are those holes right there? Yeah, man. As we say, it's a dark time, you know. All these right here are bullets. Wow. They're gonna be reshaped and reformed. Yeah, man, yeah, man. But despite the stigma, violent past, and even highly violent present according to a lot of statistics, the people here were once again very opposed to the idea that this place was, in reality, the literal murder capital of the world. Uh, have you lived here your whole life? Yeah. How is it? Very safe there. right here now. Oh, safe right here now? Yeah. Can you tell me about what it was before this time? In the 70s it was more rougher, but right. now it's... Mm -hmm. Reasonable, good, you know. You remember the incursion? Yeah, man. I was right here in the yeah. incursion, yeah. What did you remember? I see people dying. We don't want to see that back again. What are your right. thoughts on, like, the American travel advisory that says it's dangerous? No, well, American can't say anything, you know, because for the murder rate is more higher than our own because them is killing 20 and 40 in a shopping mall. We never have that in Jamaica. Right. What is your favorite part about Tivoli? Man, I love Tivoli Garden very much. I love my community. I'm telling you, it's peaceful and the kids um, can run up and down and play and, you know, can live up and down, running up and down sometimes. I'm in America already and spend my Christmas in there and I don't want to do it again. I'd rather sit here and spend it in Tivoli. Is it dangerous out here? That's what people say, don't dangerous to me. Okay. Very safe. Safe based community so far. Your thoughts on the, the statistics out there that say Jamaica is like the murder capital of the world? I think that's overblown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably if someone who doesn't like live here will probably say, oh, it's like a lot of gunshots, but none of that. How you doing, man? Oh, you guys are gaming. Are you? Oh, playing some Roblox? That's dope. What's going on here? Is this oh, uh, the arcade? So the kids come in here and pay to play some games for a little bit? Yeah, like 50 dollars for 20 minutes. How did you come up with this business idea? Well, we look on the road and we never really see no, no, nothing for, for drawing the youth, you know? So we make something where, where everybody can come and just chill. I like that, dude. Great yeah, job. That young dude started the gaming center in there. Our community full of that door stuff. Mm. That's dope. Listen, it's safe to say that if I walked in Tivoli Gardens with my camera and without Jamaica walk by and Coco, I would have been lucky to limp out of there mm. without my camera. But to be fair, Coco seems to be making legitimate efforts to rebrand the community and to push positivity. So if someone wants to check out the art project and contribute to the GoFundMe, where can they find you? We're on Instagram, Tivoli Mural Project. Thank you for having us. Appreciate it. Thank you.
Um, so clearly it's dangerous out there. I get that Coco's trying to reform the community, rebrand its image a little bit, but we were in the thick of it. It does seem like they're pushing positivity. And I respect that and hope the best for them. Shout out Jamaica Walk By. Without him, we would legit be dead or kidnapped right now. He makes videos walking all over Jamaica, talking to the locals, and is a genuinely good guy who is trying to better his community. He's also trying to reach 1 million subscribers by the end of the year, and I'd really appreciate it if you went and subscribed to his channel below. Also, whoever has the most viewed TikTok or YouTube short using a clip from this video, I'll send you $500. Post however many times you want, but you must tag my TikTok slash YouTube at and put YouTube Tyler Oliveira in the title slash description. Hmm. That's what you think, bro. <sighs> I think it's a good vid, but you know, when he went down there, okay, yes, it's, you know, it's bad, it's dangerous and things like that, but you also got very, very good people. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's not all hate. It's a lot of love. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. It's a lot of, you know, people, you know, contribute contributing to each other's lives in a positive way. Fact. Of course you got the nonsense. You, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And like I said, it's like that in our neighborhood. You feel what I'm saying? But when somebody can just come down there and just see that, you know, it's 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 not all bad. Right, you see what facts. I'm saying? It's, it's a lot of love out here, too. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. Um, Like, um, growing up where we from, they, I mean, it was points of time they considered us as the highest murder yeah, rate, right? Yeah, that was in the murder. But for us being kids, right. we love being around our neighborhood, that's bro. Right. It was a you, lot of love, man. You feel me? We love being around our neighborhood, Absolutely. bro. It just... I don't know, yo. It's like when you love your community, bro, you just look at the best of things, how fun everything is, what's going on. It just be some people that just make it bad for everybody else, bro. And, um, yeah, bro, I'm starting to see, bro, it's really the same everywhere, bro. Uh, yeah, it's really the same everywhere, so... Just don't judge a book by its cover or go off the statistics, man. Facts. No, you gotta that's actually fact. get out there and talk to the people, man, and understand where they coming from and how things really are so nah. until you do that you ain't did enough that's a fact and bro you might want to slow down on the questions you be asking because you ask questions that you already know you feel me and you see how some of the interview people were looking at like what yeah the lady had to tell them this conversation is over yeah facts like some of the questions you already know you feel me? And <laughs> I don't know. But look, man, this was a great video by Tyler, bro. Yes, um, when you went into the heart of the community just to get to know these people, mm. this was, I love to see people's point of views in different countries, bro. Right. right you feel right, me? Right, look, right. man, if y'all new to the channel, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Yes, sir. I'm Nick Dunson. And I'm Mookie Dunson. And we out, baby. One.